Gentlemen, welcome back to the T. Shanley starting a business, building a brand blog. This one, big number, 244. So the clock has officially started because I literally have like 30 minutes before the next meeting starts. And what I mean by that is we are currently, as I am filming this video, in the process of having our quarterly T. Shanley meeting. Um, obviously, I'm not in Chicago normally up until this year. I've been able to go every time, every quarter, sit down, see everybody, touch and feel and smell Tiege Hanley, and it's something that I love to do. And unfortunately, because of corona, it has put the kibosh on in-person meetings, and so we do everything remotely through the Microsoft Teams app. And it's surprisingly effective. And to be completely honest, I think it keeps us on track and on schedule a lot better than when we're in person. I think when we're in person, it encourages more like talking and engaging and communication. Uh, but everybody comes in with an agenda. Everybody who presents has an agenda, telling us and going over the big accomplishments or the rocks of their last quarter, um, just to show like what they've done, what they've accomplished, and how they have helped move Tiege Hanley forward. And so far, we've had some incredible presentations. Um, day one yesterday was all about, you know, me, Rob Kelly, um, and then, you know, Brian and Akin and Kathleen and Moose and everybody sort of like upper level management coming together, talking about, you know, high level stuff in terms of like the finances, the marketing, the advertising, um, the technology. Jay was there as well. And, um, and just really just some incredible conversations, but also some hard conversations because it, it makes us sort of look and analyze sort of where we are, where we thought we would be, and what we need to change and what needs to, what needs to happen, um, what has worked, what hasn't worked. And sometimes I think that's the, one of the most challenging things is, is actually being honest and, and looking at things through a, through a data-driven you know, lens. And that's really what's so incredibly important because just like assuming that things are working or assuming that this equals that, once you sort of boil it down and really dive into the data, that's what's going to tell you. And unfortunately, even data is not painting all of the picture and 100% of the story. And so it's doing the best job you can with the data that you have, trying to make some assumptions in order to be able to, to, to measure everything that you do. It's all about measuring, testing, and 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 just improving, honestly. And so, long story short, the meetings have been incredible. We've got a full day of meeting today. I am officially on my lunch break. But I also want to talk a little bit today about the dark days of Tiege Hanley, the dark days of Alpha M, the days before Rob, Kelly, and myself came together to form an incredible skincare alliance known as Tiege Hanley and help you have ama amazing, amazing, amazing skin. Um, and the reason why I want to talk about this real quick is because there was a question on last week's blog about um, partnership, right? And how do you determine what's a good partnership? And it got me thinking a little bit more about how Rob and Kelly and myself sort of came together, and the chemist, uh, because the chemist is also one of the owners of, of T. Shanley. He does have equity. Um, and so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the story. But before that, I got to tell you about the incredible video that Josh, our boy Josh at T. Shanley has curated for you that is going to be listed and linked down below. And it is all about crow's feet, baby. Crow's feet. How to prevent and ensure that they don't come back. Because come on, crow's feet, the eyes. That is one of the telltale signs of how old you are and if you look handsome and good. If your eyes have a bunch of crow's feet, guys, it's going to make you look older. It's not going to make you look as amazing. If you want to learn about how to prevent them, stop them, and eliminate them, there's going to be a link down below to go check out that piece of content. It truly is awesome, and you guys are definitely going to love it. And Josh has just been doing an amazing job. All right, so the dark days of Tiege Hanley. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to bring you back six years ago when I was just a little YouTuber doing my YouTube thing and I was talking about things like hair care, skin care, style. Well, I got approached by a company that some of you may have heard of called Jack Black. And this is back when Jack Black was like the kings. They were the big boys, right? They approached me six years ago and were like, yo, I think we'd like you to do a video. Um, would you be interested in doing a video of, with, with these five products and filming it? And I was like, are you kidding me? Of course. Because at that time, I really started to like get into skincare. I was getting so much into skincare that I actually thought that I was going to try to start a skincare company. I went as far as to start to research the different labs, the different options, the different like white label options um, in terms of like having a company just manufacture the products for me. I even had a name, I had a URL 
uh, for the skincare company, but it was on hold. And, um, and so Jack Black reached out to me and they were like, yo, you want to promote our products or talk about it? We'll pay a few bucks. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. It was one of the first times that like a big company that I really respected reached out to me. And so I did this video in my buddy Steve's bathroom. And I, actually, I'm going, to show you, I'm going to show you the video in a second. It's like two and a half minutes long. Um, but the thing that I want you to notice, the mirror is so streaky and just nasty. We couldn't get it clean. Um, I also was clean shaven for the video. I had to, I had to shave for the video. And, um, and so it's, it's, it's a little cringy, but, but you can see, sort of see if you can feel like a little bit of like the essence of, of Tiege Hanley in this, in this video, ready? Without any further ado, I'm gonna let you see it, all right? Now, let me just say this. Don't be like, yo, I'm gonna go check out Jack Black. Dude, Tiege Hanley products are 10 times, what you actually, I, I don't know if they're 10 times, but they are better. They are also more affordable than Jack Black. Jack Black got sold in a big conglomerate and Tiege Hanley was like, yo, what a, anyway, you, you, you love Tiege, I love, anyway, listen, I'm, anyway, I, I'm just, I'm just a little, a little, a little sketchy about showing you a video where I'm talking about some other products. Anyway, I shouldn't be. You know the deal. Here, actually, roll it now. The Jack Black morning routine is easy. Five simple steps that. Raise. Protein Booster Eye Rescue aggressively targets aging where people see it first, your eyes. Pat a small amount gently and evenly around your eye, avoiding your eyelids. With regular use, Eye Rescue will help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, firm the skin, reduce puffiness, and will minimize dark circles. And that's it, the Jack Black Morning Routine. Five simple steps, five minutes or less. What do you think? Should I shave my beard? <laughs> no, that was a trick question, but it definitely makes me look younger. So it was also six years ago. So during that time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie this back in in a second. So during that time, about the same time, maybe like, maybe like a year after that was launched, Rob and Kelly, two friends from college, actually decided to start a business. Kelly had this idea because of the, the business that he had, Purchase Point, he was very familiar with, with creating like, you know, purchasing sort of displays and stuff like that for some of the big companies like Unilever and some of these other big, big conglomerates that sold products. And Kelly was like, yo, there is definitely going to be a market for men's skincare. And so he started thinking about it. He started doing more research and he decided that he wanted to start a company and he was going to call it Tiege Hanley. 
he reached out to his best friend Rob from high school who had just sort of left a company that got, he basically Rob was in like technology and they ended up selling this company to uh, Blackberry. It, I don't remember exactly like the nuance and what company it was, but anyway, Rob got like a severance package or a buyout or whatever it was and was like trying to look for, not trying. He was I think sort of chilling, building a house and deciding what he was gonna do next. Kelly reached out to Rob knowing that Rob knew technology and was like, yo, I'm gonna start this business this is what I want it to be in. I don't know technology. Do you think we could do this? Rob's like, do I think that I could do this? Yes, I think we could do this. Rob's like, hell yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's do this. And so they decided to start T. Shanley version one, the dark days of T. Shanley before they met my handsome ass. So the way that it worked, Rob and Kelly, they were going and buying all these different uh, skincare products, assembling a box and selling them to people. All right. So it was basically like, they were going and buying like, you know, a, a face wash from Jack Black, a moisturizer from Anthony. And they were basically buying them wholesale, putting them together and creating like a kit and selling them to people one off, right? And so they developed a website. They also had this woman do this video and it was, you know, it was not successful at all. They were trying to sell kits of other people's products. But what they did, they were like, yo, how are we going to make this work? They weren't in business, I don't think, an entire year, but it was around a year. And during this period of time, they sold, I think, two kits. <laughs> Literally, it was not good for old Rob and Kelly. And so Rob started doing this thing and looking online and found this video of me talking about uh, Jack Black because they were sort of a competitor at that point, they thought. And so Rob went to Kelly and was like, hey, why don't we reach out and see if this guy will promote Tiege Hanley? And so Robin Kelly reached out to Terry at Menfluential Media and said, hey, we're interested in having Alpha M or Aaron promote Tiege Hanley, this assembled sort of kit, this mish, mish, mishmash, is that how you pronounce it, of, of, of products and, and, and selling them as a kit and, and you know, different levels. They had, I think, three different levels and three different price points. Um, anyway, so Terry... Then my, my sales guy comes to me and says, hey, there's this company, T. Shanley, they're doing skincare. Do you wanna, do you wanna possibly talk to them and hop on a call and, and promote them? I went and I looked, and I was like, I guess, like it's okay, like maybe, like let me talk to them. And so all this time though, remember, I was thinking I wanted to start a skincare company and so I was a little bit jealous. And so we got on this first call, it was Rob, Kelly, myself, and Terry. And um, we started talking. And at the time, Terry had negotiated an eight video deal for me with T. Shanley. T. Shanley, the original T. Shanley was going all in, right? And it was gonna be expensive. I mean, at the, I don't remember exactly, the, but it, it was like, it was a six figure deal for me. And so we started talking and, and Kelly actually asked me, he point blank asked me, he goes, he goes, what do you think of our idea? And I said, honestly, I said, I think it's kind of like a who cares idea. I think it kind of sucks. And he goes, why? I said, well, you're not really doing anything special. You're going on, I mean, you could just go on Amazon, buy these products. You're just making it a little bit easier, but you could buy them cheaper on Amazon. So like, why? What's the, what's the hook? I don't get it. Kelly said, well, what do you think we should do? I said, well, here's what I think you should do. I think you should partner with me. Don't pay me, partner with me. I want to be part of your, your, your company. And instead of selling other people's products, we need to develop our own. We need to develop custom products and sell them on a monthly basis in a monthly supply and create systems. And, um, and so this was kind of like the, the first like conversation about what T. Shanley is today. And so I, I think it was like a month later, Robin Kelly flew down to Atlanta to meet me um, to, to talk a little bit more. And we had had some conversations up until this point and it was moving in the right direction. And so Kelly showed up, he had like some sample like packaging sort of like mocked up and we started talking. And, but we weren't talking about like equity and, and how, like, how much equity I would get and how much equity I wanted and what their structure was. We didn't really get into that. But that night he was like, hey, where do you want to go to dinner? Anywhere you want, you pick. And I said, I want to go to Capitol Grill. I love the Capitol Grill. And being from Chicago and being a steak house aficionado, he's like, you can pick anywhere. You want, you want to go? I'm like, yeah, I love the Capitol Grill. I still love the Capitol Grill. Like seriously, like, like bang for the buck, I think Capitol Grill in terms of steakhouses, I feel like they try hard. I feel like they really put out the effort in order to sort of live up to, I don't know, like all these other, anyway. I said, I said Capitol Grill, let's go. I love this place. 
And so um, we go, and, um, and we, uh, we, we, we eat, we're having a nice time, and, and then the conversation starts to get around to equity, and what do you want for this? What percentage? And, um, and see, I, I just got a notification. I'm, I'm almost out of time, gentlemen. I said, uh, this is what I want. This is what I feel is fair. Kelly said, that's not what I feel is fair. This is not what you're going to get. We want to give you this, and this is kind of what I was thinking. I said, no, that's not what I want. That's not what I'm willing. I'm, I'm more valuable than that. And he said, well, and we, you know, we sort of, you know, <laughs> grumbled back and forth. And so, um, you know, we were, we were not in agreement. And so what ended up happening was we left. We we're like, hey, you know, if we can make this work, like, come back to me. But, but what ended up happening was Rob was kind of like the voice of reason a little bit. He was like, hey, how about we take a little bit of this equity, a little bit of that equity. You meet us in the middle. And, and, and we do this. And um, over, you know, at that point, it was over like a few percentage points. I said, you know what? Let's do this. And let's destroy this. And, um, and that's kind of the way that it worked. And then from that point, we sort of started, you know, all, all, oh, 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 whoa, wait a second. Hold up. Back up. The chemist, right? So how does the chemist fit into this mix? So during the point at which we had our initial conversation where we were talking about your idea sucks. We need to develop our own products, custom products. And the time we met and the time we started talking about equity and actually partnering together and creating a new company and who was going to put in money and how that was all going to work. Uh, because you have to remember, you know, Kelly had already invested a bunch of money in trying to create this, this business, T. Shanley version one. Um, and he had a bunch of money sunk into it. They had technology. They had inventory. Like they had a lot of inventory of, of these products. And so there was already, you know, sort of that in the works. But what happened in between the time of our first phone call and the time that we met, Rob realized that he had been playing uh, golf with a chemist that works for like this super big like company that is like just this like amazing like genius when it comes to product formulation in the skincare market. And so he said, wait a second. And so he ended up talking to the chemist and said, hey, this is what we're doing. Would you be interested in sort of consulting with us, helping us, and, you know, sort of taking a back, you know, not a front-facing role? And, um, and the chemist said, you know what? Sounds awesome. I am definitely in because I know what the skincare industry is doing, what they're charging for what you're getting, and I have a fundamental issue. I, I, don't know if it, I don't know if that's exactly what he said, but basically, he knew that when we said we wanted to offer these products at an incredible price, you know, and, and cut out the middleman and do all that and the system and systemize things, he said, hell yeah, this is exactly what the industry has been missing, and I think you guys are, well, I don't know if you are, but, but maybe you guys can actually do it. And so that's kind of the story of T. Shanley. And the rest is T. Shanley history. You've been a part of the journey ever since. But that's kind of what happened prior to vlog number one. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Oh, I still own the domain for my old skincare company that I was planning on starting, which I'm not going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> but, but anyway, I still, I still have that domain. I have a bunch of domains. Whenever I think of like a, a domain, like I came up with a a name for like a ball powder. Um, and I was like, oh, what about nice nuts? Like that would be a great domain, like nice nuts. And so I bought like, that's, 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 that's the entrepreneur in me. Like I just, I can't get away from like <laughs> thinking and brainstorming business. And when I think of one, of course, I just go to GoDaddy and for like 10 bucks, you can grab a domain. I've got a ton of other like weird domains that I'm like someday maybe when these other things, like, I don't know, I'm going to work until literally the day that I croak. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, it's what I do. And if you're an entrepreneur, guys, good luck and, and congratulations because it is a wild ride. And it is incredible, it is fulfilling, and it's honestly, when, when something works, an idea of yours works, there is nothing better, in my opinion, in my experience. And it's just been an amazing ride. I've come to love and respect and admire Rob Kelly and the chemist incredibly. Um, they, 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 I lucked out, I, I, I gotta be honest. I got a little bit lucky, I, and I, I don't necessarily believe a lot of in, like, in luck and stuff, but, but I definitely, they say luck is timing, right? When timing and preparation meet, that's what they say. Um, but I, there's definitely a degree of luck. I mean, Rob and Kelly are just great guys, and they're smart, and they did what they said they would do, which is something that a lot of business partners don't. 
And so I rolled the dice. Should I have done a background check? Yep, I didn't. They didn't do it on me either. Maybe they did and just didn't tell me. But, um, but it's been amazing. And so I just wanted to share with you that sort of story and the behind the scenes look of, of my darkest days promoting that subpar hack grooming company, Jack Black. Like what the hell were the, what was I thinking? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Very respectable, very respectable products. And honestly, they started doing something, you know, they, they, were, they, were, they were industry game changers, right? They came in and offered a premium product and really doubled down on men's skincare. I mean, they were, they were the guys that really brought it to the masses, in my opinion. And so Jack Black will always have a special place in my heart, but Tiege Hanley, we want to destroy them. And when I say destroy, I mean destroy. Gentlemen, that's where I'm going to wrap things up. I got, it. I got literally one minute before I actually get back to this meeting. We love you more than our double monk strap shoes. If you've got a business question down below, start it with business question, ask it, and then we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Next week, guys, this is all about you. Thank you so much for being a part of this. We love you. This is all because of you. And this meeting... The, the feedback, everything that we are trying to accomplish and, and do with you by our side, guys, it's, it's been a wild ride, and it's been four years, and it's crazy to see how, how far we've gone but, but, or come, but, but where we need to go <laughs> and where we are going to go. You know, it, it's definitely a steep climb, but we are equipped, and, and we, are, we are scrappy. We are scrappy. We are scrappy skincare insiders ready to dominate. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being a part of this. We love you more than our double monk strap shoes. Guys, see you next week. Thank you.